Okay, well, in this video I'm going to be attempting an Apollo-style moonshot and return mission, where we do a lunar orbit rendezvous. That is, we'll fly up to the moon, uh, detach our landing module, land, and then fly back up, rendezvous with our return craft, and then fly back home. And I'm going to be using this cobbled mess of a rocket here. It's gigantic, it's off balance, it's ugly, it's heavy, and it has about 75 stages. But anyway, uh, it, it'll probably get the job done. We'll see what we can do. So anyway, without any further ado, let's kick this thing off. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need to do is control from this uh, docking port here, because the capsule is upside down. Uh, and we don't want to be facing that way. And then I'm going to set my nav ball and stuff, and let's throttle up and get out of here. Because uh, this is asparagus stage, we'll see uh, these rockets fall off or uh, run out of fuel pretty quickly. I think I better try to shed weight as efficiently as possible. And there's the last of those. So those are just I just added those just to get a little extra boost uh, on the lift off there. A little oomph. Do we do? Want to keep an eye on this periapsis? Uh, we don't have to have like a perfectly circular orbit or anything like that, because we're, we're going to be wrecking it pretty soon anyway to go to the moon, so just as long as it's stable, we'll probably get it... that's circular enough. It's, uh, it's stable. 75 on one side, 75,000, so we're out of the atmosphere enough that the drag won't pull us back down. And, uh, cool, so we're there. Now we're going to grab the point out here and just do a maneuver node, and then we'll play with kind of its position. And I can trim this down a little. And we need about 800 delta V. And that's typically, if you're trying to eyeball a moonshot, that's typically what you want to, uh, how you want to do it. You want to wait till you kind of see the moon come up. We're going to start early, obviously, because we've got these uh, slow atomic engines. Let's kill it. Alright, so now it's just a matter of time warping out there. Kill this thing. And, uh, and then when we get to the right point, we'll do a burn and be, we'll wrap our orbit around the moon. And that'd be that'd be pretty cool from like the, like the pilot's view. Okay, so there we are. All right, we're captured by the moon. Um, just gonna do a burn. We're there, and we're not gonna do a node or anything. I'll just do a burn here, and we'll just keep an eye on this orbit. I wonder. Usually, I get a little closer to the periaps, but we'll see. Alright, that didn't take much, so keep it on there. Ooh. 40,000 or so. Get around to the periaps, close in the uh, apoapsis. Dooba dooba doo. Alright, and that's probably good enough right there. That's good enough for government work. All right, now let's go ahead and get ready for our descent. I'm going to disconnect these. Let me see here. Let me go ahead and check and make sure I've got... Okay. All right, so we're now detached. Now we're controlling the lunar lander, RCS, back away, make sure we don't collide with this thing. And then I'm going to turn it around, and uh, we'll find a good location, and we'll do a retro burn. I'll go ahead and get kind of more or less set up in the general direction. And, uh, then we'll land. I don't, I don't like, it's not fun to land on the dark side. That's a pathetic view, so we'll, we'll do this instead. Alright. And we do a retro burn. And it'll slow us down in relation to the moon. And cause us to be drawn in by its gravity. So we're not orbiting it anymore. And so from here it's just going to be a matter of doing a controlled uh, descent, basically using the engines when we need to make sure we don't come sli slamming into the moon at a you know a thousand meters a second. I just want to keep an eye on the speed here. Gear out. All right, so we're good to land as if we can keep the speed reasonable and the angle and all that. And so anytime I want to slow down, I'm going to make sure that I'm facing the retrograde um, reticule or, or uh, icon. 
And then I'm just going to do a slight burn. Nothing too drastic. Oh, there's, there's some up here, actually. I wonder if... Yeah, wait. Oh, it's hard to read that. Monster. Yeah, okay, so that is... that's the. So we're like 10 kilometers off. Wow, this is totally by accident. Huh. Well, if we had a rover, we could drive over and say hello. Yeah, so we're... It's only the shadows haven't shown up yet. We're only th we're 3,000 meters. Well, this is not, that's not right. Okay, maybe I have shadows turned off or something. I, I, I was messing with the display settings. I'm trying to get more frames per second out of this thing. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Focus, focus. And come on. Slow, slow. It's hard. Okay, we're down. Whoa. Alright, gotta focus on tilting, tilt, tilt. Okay. Alright. I think we did it. There we go. Oh, he's so happy. Look at him. He's a happy guy. Hey there, buddy. What are you doing? You're on the moon. Oh, he's sliding. Oh, he's got his he's got his suit on. That's why his uh, rockets. Oh, what a happy feller. He's lived for this moment. Let's jump. It's really laggy. There we go. It's really laggy. When I start running around on the moon for some reason. Whoa! Almost slammed into the side of the craft. That's what we need is to break our helmet open and die a painful death on the moon. That's uh, gray, silver, silver planes. I say silver planes. And then you gotta put some text on the plaque. It's such a bother. This whole landing on the moon thing is such trouble. Hoping we make it home. Live. I hope so. Alright. I usually do like Jeb was here, but you, know, you can only do that so many times before it's not the least bit funny anymore. And try to... Hopefully we'll come in kind of behind it. Because uh, it's, it's, for me it's always easier to catch up to it than it is to try to... Whoa! What the heck just happened? What was that? Uh, silver... Pl the, f the flag exploded. The flag just blew up. I just I did a time acceleration, and I guess the, the flag didn't like that. Holy moly. I've never had that happen before. You know, we're just going to take off now. Forget it. I'm doing a terrible job of keeping track of this thing. All right, so we'll take, we'll go up. we got to make sure we go east or west, the right direction. I think, I think it's still going to be... Maybe it's this way, though. Yeah, 90 degrees, that's right. So that's the way we left Earth. That's the way we're going around the moon still. And we'll keep an eye on this. And you see, on the moon it's way easier. You don't have the drag of the atmosphere. You don't have the the excessive gravity that the Earth has. You have more reasonable gravity. What, Earth, why can't you be more like the moon? We'll just fly this up to the station. Okay, so on our next pass around, whenever we get close, this is where we're going to shift... Uh, We've, we've pretty much rendezvoused. We're within a kilometer. We're then going to kind of eyeball our, our uh, maneuvering closer to the target vehicle. And that's where things start to get hairy, uh, is when we start getting into the, using RCS. Hopefully I've got these things positioned properly so that we won't ha I won't have the same problem I had last time. But we'll see. So I've you know sometimes it takes a lot. Of, it, that's the thing with with docking. It's all about okay. So, yeah, so on our next pass, we're two kilometers away. So you know we're we'll just do it right now because this is we're less than a kilometer out. The pink reticules, uh, the pink icons represent the direction of the target vehicle on, on the nav ball here. The one that looks like uh, almost like a little three points coming out. That's uh, away from the craft, and the one with this kind of more like a circle that I'm panning around to now. That's you're aimed directly at the craft right here. So basically, you try to zero out your velocity relative to the craft, and then you aim at the craft and you burn toward it. You try to get your heading or bearing or whatever your movement aim directly at it. So just like this. So now we're moving toward it at 5 meters per second. Not only slow me down, but also kind of get me in the right direction away from... Oh, phooey. We're too close. Let me just go ahead and zero out my speed here. 
Alright, so now we're drifting with our ship. I'm gonna make sure I target this. I think it's already targeted, but just to be safe. Okay, so good. Now comes the tricky part. I don't I don't really have this down to a science yet. I kind of go about it a different way every time. But what I definitely do is you set your orbital camera to chase, or I do, and you come right behind it. That'll, that'll lock the camera with the craft. So basically, when you use your RCS, up is where you expect up to be, left is where you expect left to be, and that sort of thing. So you can view it. You don't have to use the nav ball for this part. You can actually eyeball it here. So you can see the, the camera's moving with with me. I'm trying to position the camera directly behind it. And we're going to try to get um, over in front of the docking port st somewhat. And then I'm going to rotate and try to align my craft with the craft that we're docking with. And uh, and then we'll take it from there. Alright, just be careful here. So I want to keep an eye on my target, my speed relative to the target there, right above the nav ball. And if that ever gets too high, we're going to want to zero it out. And you can do that a couple of ways. Usually what I'll do is I'll point toward the prograde icon if I'm near it, and I'll do a... I'll push backward on the RCS thrusters. So I'm effectively burning retrograde. Uh, or if I'm near retrograde, I'll just do a, a forward with the RCS while aimed at the retrograde. So at any point, if things start to go haywire crazy, what you can do is just zero out your speed and then catch your breath and say, okay, let's try that again. It's all about patience, not trying to take, take, take things too quickly. So just what I've done here. I, okay, so, uh, I'm, I'm aimed perpendicular to the craft at this point. i got to figure this out. Let's see. Go away this way. I think I'm gonna go out and then and then forward and then rotate. Well, if this goes as planned, I'm still not perfectly balanced, but this is a lot better uh, RCS. Okay, so we're already we're coming out. So this is actually once you get to this point, you're in a better position because you you're aimed more or less properly. And it's just a matter of the only thing I wish is I wish there were a way to put like. Uh, I wish they had like a docking camera because you're trying to view the vehicle you're trying to dock with, but it gets it ends up being obscured by your own craft. Okay, careful. It's a light touch here is the is the idea. You want to be not too fast. You want to take it all slow. Get get one thing right at a time. Get your position right. Check on your direct your your alignment. Get your alignment right, and, and then just keep monitoring those those things. I've had these uh, go terribly wrong many uh, before, so we'll, we'll hope. I'm hoping this one doesn't. Okay, and a little closer. There, there's a trick too, to where you can align both craft to toward the poles, toward opposite poles of the uh, body you're orbiting, which. Okay. I'm moving away from it at this point. Let's see. Gotta... It's fine right now, but I don't want to go too far, so let me, let me move back in. Now I'm approaching it a little fast, but that's okay. Remember, I can zero out my speed at any point. Anyway, aligning the poles just makes it to where as your your craft... So I'm moving in slowly, but I'm... Okay, there. I get my alignment right. See, I've got to be more or less parallel. Okay, now I'm too high, but I'm going to just bring this down a little bit. I'm drifting, see, I'm drifting left past it. I've got to correct for this. Okay. Uh, as you rotate around the body here, the orbit, the, the moon, the ships are staying in the same direction. So they're, in a sense, they're kind of rotating. But if you align toward the poles, it makes it easier to dock. You don't have to worry about the ship slowly rotating as you're trying to dock with it, basically. Uh, I'm trying it without that at this point. If, if this doesn't work, I may give that a shot. Okay, we're four meters away, four and a half. So I'm getting pretty close. Whenever I think I have this thing aligned, I'm probably just going to punch it and hope for the best. Okay, go in. Okay, so I can kind of see the, vein, the, the winglets of my craft 
that I'm targeting. But that's about all I can see now. So I'm doing my best to eyeball this. And I can s Ooh, see, yeah, I'm not, I'm not lined perfectly. Okay, wait, this may be good, this may be good. Alright, I'm gonna just go to the right a bit. Here, just bump it to the right. And I think we're... Let's try to tilt. Okay, okay, good, there we go. So, oh, alright. So, mag oh, there we go. Alright, we're docked. Good. Alright, so th th it helps you out, because when you get close enough, there's like a, a magnetic field that grabs. And sometimes we'll get in there and wobble. I've had it wobble for like two minutes, you know. But it, usually once you get that to grab, you're good. Alright, catch my breath here. We're docked. Uh, now we just gotta burn uh, home. Okay. Just toying, just toying with it at this point. Yeah, I, I'd probably just better leave well enough alone. All right, 17 minutes. So, saying a nine-second burn, I don't buy that. That's a nine-second burn uh, with these motors. That's 183. Uh, is our our delta V is 183? I don't buy it that we're gonna only have to burn for nine seconds. We'll see. Hit this thing now. Yeah, see now it's saying 40, 34 seconds, whatever. Yeah, well, we don't have to be that precise with it because we've got a lot of margin for error on this. All we really have to do is escape the moon's gravity, and uh, the, the Earth will, will be in order on the Earth. This is bizarre to me. I hope. Well, we've got plenty of fuel, so we should be good either way, but I'm not sure that's the right direction. Oh, okay, now I guess the moon's moving, so we're. It's. Maybe it moved out of range. Okay. So here we go. Yeah, because it would be more efficient to uh, bring it into the atmosphere but do it from the other side. But I think I'm just going to go ahead bring it straight into the atmosphere from here. So as long as it's below, you know, 75,000 meters, it'll be on a, an orbit that'll decay. And eventually that. Okay, so I think I'm going I'm to move uh, remaining fuel over to this tank. So make sure we have enough to do uh, any maneuvers we need to try to land as close as possible to the Space Center. Alright, so that's that. Now we can detach. Alright. Back away. Alright, so that guy will fall back to Earth eventually, maybe in a couple of laps, a couple of orbits, and uh, we are free to do our own thing. And worst case, we'll end up in the ocean or something, so. And we've got parachutes, so we're not. But what I'd like to do would be to just try to do a landing sans parachutes, you know, just with the engines, like you would, like we did on the moon, basically. I don't know how feasible that really is. Okay, see, so yeah, we're. Orbit's falling short. We gotta correct again. I don't know how feasible this is. It really, I'm sure it can be done, but it probably have to be planned for ahead of time. But this is oh, I'm having to f I fight this thing. Oh, come on, come on, come on! <laughs> oh no, no, wrong way. Come on. I don't know. I I think there's no chance of of coming anywhere close to this, other than the bay here, or the ocean, or whatever you call this thing, Gulf. So we'll just enjoy the view. Actually, I've still got to at some point kick this tank off of uh, of here. We may as well burn it out, finish its fuel supply first, though. Make one last push to to do this. Uh, I gotta fight it. This is tough because it's it's trying to go. It's trying to face the other direction. I think I don't know if that ends heavier. I guess yeah. Come on. Come on. Almost just let me finish my fuel up. And we're still falling, so we're still got <laughs> Despite our best efforts, we're still going. Okay. Still losing velocity. Okay, there we are. That was our fuel, so we'll go ahead and eject that. Now it's just us. Our capsule and our uh Capsule and our parachutes. Yeah, we came up way short. That's okay. That's better luck next time. 
Frank, Frank, and Franklin. I wonder if they're brothers. Ah. There we go. So everybody can relax now. Now you only risk being eaten by sharks and drowning. A good bit of debris floating out in space. But I, I like it being there. Like, I don't want to turn it off. All right. But it, I think it slows everything down. It's trying to track so many things. Am I underwater? Am I? Uh, it doesn't look like it's like still above the water, so. Well, we're upside down. That might be under the water. It's hard to say. And it's very bright on this end of the capsule. All right. Well, that's, that's that. Thank you. I think that wraps up the video. So we did it. Success.